Her father was the radio voice of a generation, and she says he was also the victim of elder abuse. Carrie Kasem, the daughter of radio icon and Detroit native Casey Kasem, pushed state lawmakers to pass tough new legislation aimed at protecting Michigan seniors. Our Paula Tutman spoke to her today. She is a daughter on a continuing mission. Carrie Kasem, daughter of the Michigan native legendary icon Casey Kasem, is in the state today to pay a visit to lawmakers to ask them to keep doing more for vulnerable elders. There's a few bills that we want to get through here, and one of them would curb a lot of power that the guardian has. All guardians are not bad. There are some good people who want to take care of people, but when you get hit with one, that doesn't care about family or loved ones, but money. Her very public battle pit family against step family when Kasem's care was taken over by his second wife, Jean Kasem. When Casey Kasem passed away, the family discourse erupted publicly and painfully. You only hear about these horrific cases when it's Britney Spears or Glenn Campbell or Mickey Rooney or B.B. King. You don't. Or Casey Kasem. Or my dad, right. You don't hear about the thousands of families being banned from mom or dad across this country. It goes isolate, over medicate, steal the estate. And it's legal. It's legal. And this can happen to anybody. But it also put a laser focus and the white hot glare on a court system that can determine complete and final control over a vulnerable elder. My own dad's brother couldn't go see him. When there's one person that the uncooperative caretaker doesn't want to let in. I can see that. Okay, maybe they're abusive. When you say the whole family, all my father's friends can't see him, you shut the gates, you take away all of his communication devices, you fire his staff. That's isolation. In March of 2020, quietly in, pretty much overshadowed by COVID, an amendment to the guardian laws in Michigan that creates a check and balance on the court's ability to declare complete and total power to a court appointed guardian by creating a path for interested loved ones to see their elders, no matter who holds the legal reins over their care. Kasem Cares, my foundation, has passed this legislation in 12 states. Nine other states adopted a similar version. Wendy Jones, founder and president of Next Step for Seniors, applauds Michigan joining other states in creating that bridge to accountability for families. This bridges that great divide between our legal system and just emotion and relationship. So I think this is an amazing opportunity and I hope I hope that more states take advantage of it. Carrie Kasem believes that there needs to be larger reform, but at least, at least some states are moving in the right direction. Paula Tutman, Local 4. Carrie's foundation, Kasem Cares, has put together a digital toolkit families can use to navigate issues of elder conservatorship and elder abuse. So we put an easy to find link on our social media platforms for you and you can check it out at clickondetroit.com.